Okay, she's got a lot of energy, or she thinks she does, because <laughs> she just had some playtime. And so she gets pretty wild treating people like chew toys. Yeah, and so we were able to work on that for a little bit, and then now I'm just kind of bringing her down. Oh, good job, it's a fall down. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of trying to bring her heart rate down, her energy down, um, before I let her have some low key time with my dogs, which I'll show you guys. Stay. Bianca, come. Yes, good job. Good girl. Bianca, come. Good, please. Good, sit down. Good, good job. I'm very patient with her downs because she knows them, but she's select selective. Um, so I'm just super patient, wait her out. Most of the time that works. We're only just now starting to use leash pressure to teach leash pressure. And so, um, there we go. And so uh, I can't just go right to leash every time to guide her because she's too new to that. So it's gotta be just patience. Yeah, with food, no. Good, a little blocking. Good, good girl. Good job. So good means keep doing what you're doing. Good, good job, puppy. Bianca, come. Yes. And yes, it's just more fun. It means you will always get payment. Always, always. Please. Good. Oh, you fell. Looks like you rolled with it. <laughs> good girl. She rolls over all the time when she plays. Good. Stay. She kind of got up a bit, so I kind of leaned in. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. I want to reward her lots of times for staying. I don't always just want to recall her to me because then she'll anticipate that. She'll never settle. No. Stay. Good. So that was just a quick move in and I kind of bumped the, the bed too. So she settled really fast. So that's body language. That's what they understand. Move into a dog, it means settle down. Move away from a dog, that's why stay is hard to teach because it's a natural inclination um, to, that you're calling the dog to you because you're moving away. Stay, good. Just moving around her. Good job, stay. So when I do call her to me, I pair C-O-M-E with um, a movement backwards and food so it's like a really soft movement uh vulnerable movement back to inviting i should say very inviting so it looks like bianca come good yes there's your food let's go so we're only just now introducing leash place good for guidance today good job searching for food so even though she's not getting off i'm just going to move in to kind of get her attention so Hey, sit down. Good. The fast down. Good job. No. Good. I don't have to wait till she steps off. The big cot. Just her getting up all the time. I can move in. Settle her down. Good. Good job. Bianca, come. Place. So leash pressure, good, and then off. Leash pressure on, off, good. So the moment she takes a step, I'm giving in with the leash. That's how you teach it. That's how you teach, good job, yes. That's how you teach that they're in control of what's going on, of what's happening. If you just keep pulling it off, if I, if I say come, and I keep pulling, come, it's really, there's like there's no relief, she was about to bite the leash. If there's no relief, they're not learning anything. And as they get older, they'll get frustrated. Why is this leash always tight? Why are you always keeping me away from what I want? There's gotta be a give and, a give and take. So it's a little bit on, come off. Yes, good job. A little bit on, come. Yes, as soon as she takes that step, please. Good, good job. We'll see if she goes towards this food and I'll kind of show you. She checked it out earlier. Oh, nope. No. 
No, blocking, good. And I'm keeping my feet on the floor so I don't step on her, but I did block her firmly. No. Now I'm gonna redirect her. Come, right in front of her face. Place, sit, down. Good, good girl. She's a little twisted. Let me fix that. There we go. No, she's still right back to that piece of food on the ground. There we go. She's like, it's a little too hard for me. Sit, good. So that's a little tug right there. I'm just see only me. And hopefully I'll be able to show you what I mean really specifically about leash on, leash off. Which is, Bianca, come, good, come. Good job, place. That was awesome, yes. You get jackpot for that, yes. Good, yes. Oh, I didn't drop it, it's right here. There you go. <laughs> Jackpot reward just means several in a row. Um, so I had tension on the leash, and then as soon as she started to head my way, even if it was just a step, yes. Yes, good. And I use the magic word. Even if it's just one little step and she goes right back to it, I have to reward that with um, loosening leash. That's how you teach. So here we go. Yes, good. Good job, place. Again, pressure, good. Pressure on, pressure off, guys. Gotta be super diligent and know what your, your handling is doing. Good job, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at first she was super nervous of them, shaking even, trying to get away. So what, what I did was I constantly interrupted um, their engagement. So I would just go, no, and I would walk in the middle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And, uh, and the no was for my dogs, not for, not for Bianca. Bianca was overwhelmed. So like, no. And I would just step into my dogs. I don't even have to say no. I just walk into them towards them. And, um, that way, uh, it would give her a chance to breathe. Oh, look at all our little hackles going up. So this behavior right here is a bit of a coping thing for her. She's a little anxious, but she wants to play. So she's doing this jump around. Um, it's, she's kind of in middle ground. Oh, is that so? She's kind of in this middle ground of I want to play, but it's a little scary. <laughs> oh, see what I mean? <laughs> but she's getting the hang of it. Um, probably tomorrow we'll introduce her to some newer, newer dogs and see if she uh, basically recovers faster than she did her very first time meeting these guys. Um, you just have to remember when you when your puppy gets overwhelmed. They get nervous, they get unsure. What are you doing? Come in. You've got to give them space. You've got to give them a chance to breathe. If I just overwhelm her, then I'm only going to make her go deep. No, I'm only going to make her go more deeply rooted um, in her fear and distrust that I can help control the environment. She might recover on her own, but then when she gets older, might become reactive on walks or just, yeah, barking at dogs that bark at her. All these stages that a lot of these dogs go through. She's not gonna believe me that I can tell her no or anything like that because I never advocated for her. When she was nervous, I never helped her out. And she said, and she would see that. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully that makes sense. Ooh, that was a growl by Dakota, which um, is a play growl, but she's never heard that before. Are you okay? Yeah, so I'm just gonna give her a second to recover. Give her a chance to recuperate. What do you think? See how she's not. Dakota, come. Good. There we go. So that's what I want to see. I want to see her recover. She's thinking about it. She's like, hmm. What do you think, Dusty? <gasps> Dusty, what do you think of Bianca, huh? Good job, Bianca. So anyway, guys, that's what I mean when I say you gotta advocate for your dogs. You gotta watch how they're doing, how their emotions are, and introduce slowly. And then help them build, you know, build back up. Good job, Bianca. I know. What's she doing? Dakota, come here. Come here, sweetie. There we go. Good job. Good job, Bianca break. See what happens. See, she's a little bit more nervous than she was before. So that little growl, that 
little growl, definitely, that Dakota did, which is normal for her. She growls when she plays. So does she. <laughs> but it's just take, take some time and context to build that back up again. There we go. Good job, Bianca. Dakota, come. Dakota, come here. Good job. Just give her. Oh, yeah, there we go. See? Just patience, guys. That's all I'm saying. Took about three intros um, for her to, to kind of do the nervous hopping around. And then this is the most comfortable I've seen her by far. She's not just nervous hopping around. She's, she's seeking them out more to sniff them. This is really good. You just got to take your time. Be patient if you've got a bit of a nervous pup. Or dog. Dog, too. <laughs> 